Welcome back. This short video, well, we'll see how short it is, is about how to use the bootstrap technique. This is a technique for finding an interval estimate for the mean of something numerical. What we're looking at here is data about the heights of a bunch of 17-year-old males. And there are a total of 149 males in this data set. This is all the data we have from NHANES. Here is a dot plot of the height, and you can see that the mean of the height we've already put this on here with plot value is 176-ish centimeters. But is that really the true mean of the entire population of 17-year-old males? No, it's our best estimate for the mean. We want to find out how wide that interval of plausibility might be. The first mistake you might make would just be to put the 5th percentile and the 95th percentile on this. That's not what you want to do, so beware of that. That will tell you the 5th and 95th percentile of all of the guys, but it won't tell you the 5th and 95th percentile of the estimate for our mean. So here's what you do. This is the bootstrap technique. First of all, figure out how many cases you have in your collection. In our case, it's 149. Second of all, I'm going to sample from the collection. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to sample cases. And so it does that. It does 10 by default but we're going to turn off animation, we're going to keep with replacement, and we're going to put in here 149, because that is the official number that we had. And now if I sample more cases, I've got 149 males here and 149 males here, but there could be some duplicates over here. Let's see what this graph looks like. So I'm going to make another graph. I'm going to look at this, look at heights. So here are the heights of of this group, even though it's the same people, there are duplicates. I'm going to do plot value and put in mean, and this time it's 175.9, not 175.8. You expect it to be pretty close. So I want to do this many times. I'm going to collect measures. So I've sampled. I've found the mean. Remember, I sampled the same number as I had. I found the mean. Now I'm going to collect measures. Okay, we're going to call this height bar, <laughs> and here's its formula, the mean of height. And I've defined this in the, uh, in the sample collection. I could have defined it in the earlier collection, and the sample collection would have inherited it. And now I want to collect measures. So I'm going to do collect measures. You'll notice it gets slow if I have this thing open. So I'm going to instead watch the measures collection itself. And here are the various heights, the various mean heights that I got for different samples. And now I'm going to make another graph. I'm going to put these mean heights on it. And I'm going to close this up to save time. And I'm going to get another 195 measures and turn off animation. OK, here we go. Do, do, do. See, we're starting to get more, and we're done. Now, notice something very important. The range of this graph is much narrower than the range of this graph. This graph is a range of means of heights. This graph is a range of heights. I'm going to put the 5th and 95th percentile on here. Percentile of 5 comma nothing. And over here, I'm going to do an, oops, whoa. I do another plot value. I wonder what I selected. Percentile of tile of 95 comma nothing. 95 comma nothing. There they are. And so we have 174.6 to 176.8. That is our plausibility interval, also called a confidence interval, for the mean height of the total population. It is not plausible that our mean height is very much outside this range. It's completely plausible that it's inside this range, because this is the middle 90%. That's called the bootstrap technique. See if you can reproduce this diagram. See ya.